I feel it's super important every day to continually grow as a chef. I've got an amazing group of people that work with me, and they constantly challenge me on a daily basis to come up with new things. It's a tough business. You want to keep the employees that work for you. We learn together. That's the greatest thing that I offer people. It's a team atmosphere. I'm just the figurehead, you know. No, but I got a great group of people, and I love them all. I told you Josh brought us a Christmas gift. Can you hear it? <laughs> Our sound guy Justin is dying. He wants this off so you guys can all hear us. It's a suit of veed. Now, how do I shut it off? Just like that. I didn't even look. Oh, quiet. My grandmother always used to say, Josh, I like all those new kitchen gadgets. Right, this isn't a fad. That's right. This, that's is, right. this is a technique that's been around since the 70s. It's new to us as consumers to the industry, and now it is currently available for home chefs. Yeah, your gourmet, you know, yeah. food supply stores with equipment and whatnot, they have they it, they have sell it. it. It's really fun, and the more you, you play with it, you're like, my life is so much easier. Yes. Because it's the same sort of set it and forget it sign of mentality. Right, okay? right. You take whatever, whatever the ingredient is. Oh, we're cooking pheasant today. Right. We can also do a chicken. Any poultry goes great with this dish. Okay. So all we did was we took the pheasants. Right. And we cut the breasts off, which your local butcher could do for you. You take the bags. Right. And they come with a food saver. We put our pheasant breasts in there. Right. Raw. Right. And cold. What you see right here is a little bit of olive oil. Yes. And some fresh sage and fresh thyme. And then all we did was we put it in there. We set the time. We sent the temperature. And walked away. And walked away. It works for me in the restaurant because it's the shrinkage factor. Right. Well, you know. <laughs> but the important thing is there's no shock. It retains its juice. Right. Flavorful. It's That's delicious. And truth be told, you could do it with a thermometer and a pot on the stove. One of your guys on the crew said they do that. Yes. That's actually my husband. Oh. He does it. He's doing all the dishes back there. <laughs> Isn't he great? He's awesome. I know. We've already talked about Faro. Josh and I see that you brought some here. Fantastic. Yeah, it's an amazing grain. Been around for like 6,000 years. It's though. the Roman grain, That's I like awesome. to say. It's for it's the fighters. Awesome. Yeah. Kabocha. Kabocha squash. Can an you want to cut this squash. open yeah, so yeah, folks yeah, can see it? It's so delicious. Look at that. The natural sugars in there are amazing. Ooh, you can it's smell hearty. It's is. really good. Wow. Take the seeds out. Take quarter the it. seeds out, quarter it, a little bit of olive oil just to brush the top yes. of it a little bit of fresh thyme, bake it in the oven, and just roast them on a cookie sheet. And then all we do is peel it off and dice it. Now you've got a little kale. Yeah, we've got a little black kale, Cabo Nero. All we did was just take the leaves, wash them, and, and then just dice them up. Okay, shallots again, so we've got Some all the Some shallots, so we're gonna, we're gonna put together our vegetables that go together. All right, let's do it. Okay. Oh, the one thing that we didn't talk about, Josh, is- Oh, the pomegranate. The pomegranate, we have a little How pomegranate here. Yeah, I don't no. know why I didn't do that. There's this little feud going on between figs and pomegranates, you know. No one can really decide which was the forbidden fruit that was eaten. I'm not, I'm touch I'm not touching I'm that. Saying I'm not going, going with there. the apple. I'm not going there. Okay. <laughs> so yeah, this is the fun thing. This is what you want the kids to deal with. Oh. You just got to pick them out. The last thing that we have to put the dish together, we made a stock. Just get chicken stock. I've got pheasant stock because I took the bones and I roasted you, them. Right. But chicken stock in the can, supermarket, done. Done. Put a little oil in the pan. Shallots first always. Shallots first always. You want to release the flavor. The smells, the oils that are in there. Right. The kale goes in next. It needs to cook a little bit longer it than does. everything else. Yeah. You're gonna throw the farro in there, the squash. Yes. I have to tell you guys, I made some grenadine, which comes from, yes, pomegranates, and I made a beautiful martini for the holidays. You'll be seeing that a little bit later in the show as well. It's pretty much ready to go. Done. Um, we've got our stock right here. Yes. And what I'm gonna add to it is our pomegranates. Oh, nice. So now we're gonna go to our pheasant. Take it out. Just a towel dry it. A little salt, both sides. We've got the oh, look thyme. Oh, just right in there. We've got oil in the pan. Okay. Now it's cooked already. This is oh, what everybody yeah. needs to exactly. understand right now. Get it golden brown. Everyone likes to eat a beautiful golden, especially a bird at Christmas time. Tell me we're done. Tell me that's it. I'm telling you we're done. Wow. So. We just chopped up a little fresh parsley. That's it. All right, you guys, this made it so simple and easy. We used the freshest ingredients out there. Don't forget the pomegranate and a great martini. That's coming up next. And look at how fun that is, whether it's pheasant, chicken, turkey, fish, whatever you like. The Claremont, for those of you that don't know, is in Oakland, right? Berkeley, California, Berkeley, California. 41 Tunnel Road. All right, so go and visit Josh. And for those of you that got a sous vide, we both want to hear from you. Check us out on our website, bringingithome.com. Josh, thanks for being on the You're show. You're welcome. I had fun with you. Happy holidays. Great. Happy Hanukkah. Happy holidays. We'll be right back.